Hey guys, how are you? So for absolutely no reason, I decided to do like a swatch test, so to speak, for the Suzy Beauty lip glosses that are new in the market. They're matte lip glosses. I've been using them through the December holidays and for most of Jan. They're actually wonderful, which is why I decided to do it. So I've done up my face and I was wearing a lip but I wiped it off and now I'm about to put lip balm and then I'm just gonna do each lip gloss one by one. I have to say, I gave one up. So I'm only gonna do four shades of the five that are out. Unfortunately, because the shades don't have the name of the shade written on the bottle because it's written on the box, I have no idea which is which. But I'm going to tag it in the comments below. So just so you know, this is, these are the different shades. And I'm gonna try them from the lightest to the darkest. There is a red one, which I've seen on Suzy and looks wonderful, but I, I gave it out as a gift. Regifting. I'm gonna start with this nude, which is a complete light. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna put it on like I would any other nude color, which is to apply a brown liner on my lip and then go in with the nude lip color. So here goes. The way you're messing with my head, bring me my zucchini. Oh, oh, baby. So if you can see, like my top lip has like a natural sort of lining. I've always had that but I don't like to lose it when I do put a color on top of that it sometimes make my, makes my lips look really big especially if it's a nude color my lips look much bigger but I really like this thing that I have so I always accentuate it when I'm putting on a lip, a lip gloss especially or a lipstick especially if it's a nude color <laughs> This is a perfect mood. See how it's the exact same color as my lip? Oh, oh, Here we go. I like the most about these lip glosses is that they mattify really slowly so you can be done with your makeup and sort of end your lip and and wait for like another half hour before it actually dries up and then the best thing about it is that it doesn't actually like dry up so it doesn't leave your lips chapped it's very moisturizing and I absolutely love it it has a matte finish but it pretty much stays like this for most of the day like it's just it looks like my natural look and it's perfect like i can wear it every day the second look i'm gonna do is is also a nude but it's a little bit darker and i sometimes wear this dark nude on the outside of my lip and then go in the middle with the lighter nude so let me just Moisturize my lips. And then I'm gonna put a liner. And then go in with the dark. See, very subtle, very simple to put on, and also an everyday wear. I love how they feel. is like an orange just if you look at the bottle it looks like it's an orange shade but then it kind of dries a different color it's also very light but let me just show you how it wears I 
I feel with this shade you have to go in with a few more layers before you can actually achieve what it is you're trying with this color. But that's what it looks like if you wear it on its own. And last, but definitely not least, because I don't have the red, I'm gonna go in with the purple, and I like to wear this on its own. I'm gonna show you the first look, and then I'm going to add the nude lip on top of it and show you what it looks like when you mix both colors together. This is what it looks like on its own. But this is what it looks like when I add this color. create an ombre look just like this still very subtle enough to wear every day thanks for watching guys